Hello and welcome to this short webinar which covers all about the financial wellbeing support in the BCP area. Uh, my name is Stacey Miller and I'm leading on the BCP Together Apple webpage. And one of the focuses on that Apple webpage is wellbeing, which also covers the much important topic around money. So I will be leading on this session and we've also got joining us today, Ruth Hobbs. Thanks for joining us today, Ruth, how are you? I'm good, thank you, and thank you for inviting me. Brilliant. Thanks for so much for coming today. I think it's super important that we just raise awareness that there's lots of support out there. Um, can you tell us who you work for? Um, yes, I work for Christians Against Poverty, um, more easily known as CAP. And I'm currently the debt coach and centre manager for CAP in Pool. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So it's great that you guys exist. So if we've got anyone listening that thinks, yeah, actually, I could do with a bit of support, they may be based in Paul, Bournemouth. What, um, how do they access you? Is it online? Is it restricted to a specific area, for example? OK, so um, we have a debt centre in Bournemouth as well. We also have others in the county and across the UK. Um, do you want me to tell you a little bit about you, the organisation nationally and then I'll explain yeah. how to access it? If you don't mind. No, that's fine. So CAP is a national debt counselling charity and we always work through churches. Now, that doesn't mean that we only help people that go to church. We'll help anyone of any faith or no faith. It's but fine. we are a Christian organisation, so we work through churches. Uh, we specialise in helping people deal with unmanageable debt, but we also run other courses across the country. So cap money budgeting courses and life skills courses as so the banner behind me. And we we see lots of people really who may not be in debt, but just need a little bit of help to manage their budgets or to stay out of debt really. So that's what those courses are for. Our services are free and non-judgmental so people shouldn't be afraid as lots of people are that if they come to us we will tell them off for what they've spent money on and say well it's your own fault or anything like that that's that's not who we are that's not what we do and our trained debt advisors so we're locally we're debt coaches our trained debt advisors are based in caps head office in bradford so they're the ones that prepare the budgets and negotiate with creditors and we're the, the local ones on the ground who are, see people face to face. We are regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority and we have a really good reputation with most of the major banks and building societies. And that's in the main, that's because we aim to, to treat our clients fairly, but also to treat their creditors fairly. So we, yes, we'll do our best for our clients, but we'll treat the banks and building societies fairly as well. And how do they access our services? Well, there is one phone number. It's on the banner behind me. It's 0800 328 0006. Now, if you ring that phone number, you'll get through to our new inquiries team in Bradford. So wherever you live across the country, that's the number to ring to make a first appointment. And if there is a CAP centre in your area with available appointments, then the new client inquiries team will be able to make you an appointment. So you don't do it directly with the debt centre initially. The, okay. the succeeding appointments are made by the local debt coach. But the first appointment, you phone head office yeah. and they will book an appointment. After the appointment's booked, your local debt coach would then make contact with you to say, hi, I'm I'm Ruth, I'm the pool debt centre manager, and I'll be coming to see you on such and such a date. This is my number. Keep it. Give me a ring if you need help. Do you go then. to them, Ruth? Do you go to see them or do they come yeah. to you? So we go to see them. Most of our visits are in clients' homes. We find that works well for a number of reasons. Mm. And it's, it's the way that we've always worked, really. During COVID, we, we did telephone appointments. Yeah. Um, and they were 
they were the best we could do and we yeah. helped a lot of people during that time but we are now back in the main to doing home visits okay yeah that's fine if someone doesn't want that and they prefer to just speak over the phone is that available yeah. as well yeah yes um usually that it would depend a little bit on the circumstances whether yeah. we need to go out because certainly our our main way of doing it now is visiting um i personally have done one client over the phone um, for a couple of reasons but some centre managers and debt coaches have gone back completely to visits so it would be on a, a case by case Brilliant. basis so it, it would be up to the debt coach to decide yeah that's cool it's just good to be flexible isn't it? that's amazing I, I love that I don't think it's really good that people know that you guys exist and how flexible you are and that you can go to people's homes it's amazing um so quick question for you then Ruth is I'm always trying to keen to find out top tips from our experts in the field if you could give a top tip to people watching today what would you what would you do well um money or the lack of it is one of the hardest things to talk about isn't it yeah. even even with our closest family but i would say try try and discuss it try and be honest with your your family your spouse your partner if they're old enough your children at an early stage don't bottle it up until it's a major shock to people if you need to cut back on spending explain that to them because it's a lot easier to keep to a budget if everyone involved is on board and understands the reasons for it so don't hide from it try and talk to your family about it and then if you are in debt so many of my clients will say to me i've just buried my head in the sand well try not to hide like that um ring 0800 328 006 or another free debt counseling charity and ask for help as early as you can Okay, I think that's great. I think early, early intervention and don't be scared, isn't it? We're, we're quite nice us people that we just yeah. want to help people, don't we? So, you know, talking as always is key, isn't it, to break down that stigma as well, I think. Something else we do when we visit clients because of that is we, we will take someone called a befriender with us. Mm. So whilst I as a debt coach will have to do all the, the formal stuff and ask all the the difficult questions mm. the befriender can just be there to support the clients to help them open their envelopes if they're too scared to open them yeah. just to be a friend in that situation and we find that that also helps and sometimes they stay friends for a long time but it it's, just makes it more accessible i think and more human yeah i just think that's just super kind as well which i think is um what the world needs so that's great i love that tip simple but very effective um thank you so much ruth for joining us today and just giving us an overview of your wonderful organization and uh, keep up the amazing work thank you so much thanks stacy bye-bye <laughs>